Till Ryan Reynolds paid $10,000 of his own money for the right to wear a shirt with the Golden Girls B.E.A. Arthur on it in Deadpool. The estate agreed for a donation in that amount to a charity of their choosing. Ryan paid it himself because he felt you couldn't have Deadpool without B.E.A. Arthur. The most interesting thing about this is that I had totally forgotten that both he and Nathan Fillion were in Two Guys, A Girl, and A Pizza Place. If you want to see what the shirt was, here, https colon slash slash imager com slash a slash jcsotfo It's from the early bit when he's dealing with the pizza boy. Edit, stop rewarding me for googling something, donate to causes you believe in, Reddit doesn't need the money. Edit 2, y'all are silly. Do what thou wilt. The man was born to play that character, and he fully embraces it lmao. I'm starting to think Ryan Reynolds is a Deadpool fangirl. I had a daughter a month ago and this is why her middle name is BEA. Don't tell my spouse. When the producers told him that they couldn't get the rights, Reynolds retorted there must be EA and Arthur way. Who's BEA Arthur and why is that important to Deadpool? Can completely see Deadpool being a BEA fanboy. This image, https colon slash slash i2 wp com slash www tour com slash wp content slash upload slash 2016 slash 06 slash bea arthur deadpool jpg fit equals 640 percent 2c plus 9999 and crop equals 0 percent 2c 0 percent 2c 100 percent 2c 360px and ssl equals 1 and w equals 640 might help people know what the heck this thread is talking about i wish i had ten thousand dollars to spend frivolously on t-shirts bra ten zero 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 dollars is like one dollar for that man's but still a lit actor and person Ryan Reynolds is one of the few celebrities in Hollywood that I genuinely respect. Article about him wearing a specific shirt without a picture of said shirt. Journalism at its finest. Nice. Another familiar actor from the 70s Leslie Agams was great. Saw it on a weekday afternoon, and only about 15 others there. I'm in San Antonio where country music is popular, and a disc jockey that did several shows with Ronnie Millsap through the years. Legend. When Leslie Agams whips out that rifle and Deppel says hey, hey, careful with that, Ronnie Millsap, I let out a hearty, boy am I stoned ha. Huh? No one else left. I don't think they knew of him. Deadpool is about a guy that can't die. Wouldn't he have been a bigger fan of Betty White? My wife just came home with a Golden Girls shopping bag. Something must be in the air. You can tell just how much he loves playing Deadpool. I love seeing actors get into a character that much. I wish I loved my job that much. It's only right. Deadpool has loved her since the beginning. Yeah but to him $10,000 is what a penny is to me. I've just started binging the Golden Girls a week ago since it's on Amazon Prime. Still a great show. Every time I learn a little more about Keanu or Ryan they seem to be more wholesome or awesome than I previously thought. Well of course. Worth every penny. Thank you for being a friend. B.E.A. Arthur, what an absolute lass. Paid 10,000 of his own money. Probably 50 to 100 bucks to me lol. Nonetheless, a good deed. Disney should give Ryan executive control of the Deadpool character if they haven't already. In truth he did that purely to spite his nemesis Betty White. Probably see this on r slash movie details tomorrow. True story. Literally happened today. I work at a gas station in Alder Grove, BC. Today one of the stunt doubles from Deadpool 1 the guy who wore the brown pants needed a refill on his propane. I knew he was a stunt double for the movie because he was wearing his crew jacket. I asked him about his job and he said this. Celebrities are the craziest thing about the movie industry. Most of them are crazy and don't even want you making eye contact with them. But if you get a chance to meet Ryan, you have met you of the most genuine and kind people in the world. I am paraphrasing of course as I can't recall the exact conversation at this moment. 
but I do recall him for some reason having to tell me this even though I didn't ask about Ryan Reynolds at all, it's kinda cool that that's the impact Reynolds leaves on you. This isn't a slight on Ryan Reynolds at all because it's a simple fact of life, but... I spend my personal money on nice pens and office supplies at my work because it's a fraction of what I earn each day. It makes my life better, makes my job more enjoyable, and I'm more than happy to spend a bit of money for these upgrades. $10,000 is a fraction of what Ryan makes each day on set, I'm pretty sure he's also a producer on this project so he stands to benefit from improved success, he's in the same boat. It's a small investment to further his profession. I dig it, I get it, but him spending this amount of money isn't comparable to most of us spending the same amount of money. For most of us, imagine our employers. Depending on who you work for, they're possibly making hundreds of thousands of dollars a day. When they spend $10,000 on some equipment to make our jobs easier or more comfortable, we're all for it but we're certainly not making Reddit posts about it for them. TL, DR, this is an investment into his craft, for which he certainly stands to recoup and benefit from this decision monetarily. Also, I'm not criticizing. I'm just making commentary of the fact small business owners make these decisions every day and there aren't Reddit posts about them. Chump change for him. Till that BEA Arthur was married to Gene Sachs, directed The Odd Couple, Brighton Beach Memoirs, who was legendary Broadway producer associated with Neil Simon. Wow Ryan is so cool and relatable and done good job as Deadpool X. I bet Ryan Reynolds is just a stellar guy to hang out with. I'm sure that's jump change to him, but, that aside, yes. A charity of their choosing known as their pocket trademark. I hope he knows BEA Arthur is Star Wars canon. Because that's what heroes do. Damn straight, good play Ryan. Love this. The best superhero movie to ever exist besides The Dark Knight. Avengers as a distant third emo. Is it because she was the most gangster golden girl? Thank you for being a friend. He regrets nothing. Six Emperor, B.E.A. Arthur. I love golden girls and I'm a 30-year-old male. In the comic book does he like B.E.A. Arthur too? R slash I am random. Hashtag hashtag B button blood type A E Arthur flushed face face with tears of joy thinking face OK hand pistol fire hundred points hundred points white heavy check mark white heavy check mark. Not totally relevant but I still want to say that I'm disappointed they didn't call the show Golden Graham's pensive face. Why? This femputes. Thank you for being a friend. Who's B E A Arthur? Of all the superheroes Deadpool is the one that still and will still stand out. It's all about the script and how Reynolds captures that character really well. I have a golden girl's phobia. That was hard to write. Goodbye. My fellow Canadian is a fucking legend. Time and time again. He made 40 million off of that movie, 10k is literally nothing. Pretty ridiculous that you have to pay an estate in order to put a dead person's face on a shirt that will be in frame in a movie. I mean he was one of the EPS on the film it was an investment cause he made that money back tenfold. Anyone gonna explain who B.E.A. Arthur is? Ha 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 this guy. There's words there, but I understand nothing. Can completely see Deadpool being a B.E.A. fanboy. This has r slash all written all over it. I wonder if this is how Windows Vista came to be. Man. Imagine being so rich that you're willing to drop $10,000 on something most people wouldn't even notice. Outstanding. Good guy Ryan. Great PR. Damn that's one expensive ass shirt. Mine was only $2. I like his jacket even more. Who's BEA Ether?